Okay, Resetters, Dr. Mindy here, and in our reset group for the last week we've been talking about uh, weight gain and stress, and then yesterday what I was filling these gals in on is that so many people had questions about sleep. So instead of me always answering the questions, I brought my two <laughs> favorite people. I brought Dr. Sonia and Dr. Caitlin to help answer some of the questions you guys had about stress and about sleep. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Women in Wellness podcast, we are a trio on a podcast called Women in Wellness. We have a closed group in Facebook where we're answering all kinds of questions for women. But let's talk first. Okay, so let me let me kind of fill it, fill you guys in. So the obesity code, you've read it. So he talks a lot about how cortisol, when it goes up, insulin goes up, and when cortisol and insulin go up, you have trouble sleeping. And then basically, if you're trying to eat different, you're trying to lose weight, you're kind of in a tough position because how do you lose weight if you're stressed and you're not sleeping? Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's start with you, Dr. Sonia. Yeah. Give me like your top three tips on sleep. Mm. Yeah, so top three tips. Well, when you think about sleep, the circadian rhythm, cortisol needs to go down and melatonin needs to come up. So what can we do to you know, relax our nervous system? We can do yoga, we can meditate, we can breathe. Like there's so many simple tools that we can use in our daily routine before bed that can calm that nervous system down and tell cortisol to take a hike. Awesome. And would you do it before sleep? I would do it before sleep, create a routine, but you also want to do it in the morning. Like it's almost like it's not just like a one-time fix thing. It's got to be a regular routine so your system knows that this is my rhythm throughout the day. Okay, and what do you say to people who are like, well, I don't have time to You do have that. three minutes. You have three minutes. The time okay. that we use to scroll through Facebook, the time that we use complaining about something else, you have three minutes before bed to okay. create that routine. Okay. Yeah. okay. No excuses. Okay, beautiful. Dr. Caitlin, sleep. Give me your top three recommendations for sleep. Honestly, my favorite thing is changing your diet because when you change your diet and you bring insulin down, then cortisol comes down. And when cortisol comes down, you sleep because melatonin comes uh, up. Yep. So you have to change your eating habits. And I am the one that says stop snacking, stop snacking, stop snacking. And snacking is anything from actually physically eating the five almonds to having your cup of coffee that takes you three hours to drink or your cup of tea with fat that takes you three hours that's snacking so change your weeding eating window not weeding window uh -huh. <laughs> change or your eating window you know window. that too <laughs> or a wasage you know yeah. <laughs> that's um, another story yeah, yeah we'll get yeah. there however um when you actually change what you're eating your cortisol will come down and your sleep will improve and you will actually wake up feeling refreshed okay and i'm going to say the same thing is it eating through all day long that you have to change or is it right before you go to bed eating both okay you have to change both and everyone's a little different so sometimes i will tell people to eat right before bed if their blood sugar spike at night to try and um, stabilize it out but for most people who aren't a diabetic Take out eating right before bed. That's going to help you sleep better. What would you eat if you had yeah, to Yeah, what would you fat, eat? Fat, 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 yeah. fat, 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 or a little bit of protein. No carbs, no fruit, no none of that. You're either going to do like an avocado, some olives, or a little bit of protein. And by a little bit, I mean like the size of your thumb. Right, right. Very little. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, stress. So the other thing, and we see this a lot with my patients, I'm sure you see it with yours, where people oh, are just, <laughs> people are really trying to lose weight and they're following keto, they're fasting and they're like, you know what, I'm just not losing weight. Why am I not losing weight? And what I think is so profound about what Dr. Fung shows is that, that your stress goes up and you can do everything right and you still won't lose weight. So yeah. I'm a busy woman. Yes, the rushing woman. So I'm a rushing woman. What do I do to manage stress? Yeah, so we talked about the meditation and some tools that you can use daily practice that gives you joy. So what happens physiologically is when our um, cortisol is high, it's coming from progesterone. And that progesterone hormone for us women it helps us thrive. It's anti-anxiety, it's antidepressive, so we need that hormone to feel like ourselves. If that's low, estrogen is high. So now you've got your fat cells around your belly, so women that you know find this weight hard to lose, it's because cortisol and estrogen is replicating itself now within the fat cells. So lower your stress, it'll lower your cortisol, it'll decrease the weight. What do you recommend to lower stress? 
it's always yoga. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. True. Okay. For me, it's always okay. yoga. Great. It's journaling. It's doing this. Um, having time with other women. Yeah. There's been studies yeah. done where women with other women, um, we create endorphins, like oxytocin. So we need that. We need that tribe. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Okay, Dr. Caitlin, what are your what are your stress tips? Honestly, the biggest thing for me is to minimize my life, mean, meaning minimize my things, my clothes, my objects, my, you know, everything. So much so that I'll have to show you guys what I've been doing the last two months. I've minimized everything into 70 square feet. And it has been 70, the best. 70 yeah, square yeah, feet. 7 yeah. zero. Yeah. Um, but it's seriously been the best experience of my life. And that has majorly de-stressed because I don't have all these things taking my energy and my, um, well, my time, simplicity honestly. Simplicity, too, it's simplicity. And so, yeah. Yeah. minimizing, you know, we're, we're in a period or uh, a time where more, 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 and honestly, we don't need more. If anything, we need more experiences, less things, and yeah. that's really what helps de-stress me, and I tell people all the time, you know, take a walk, put your phone away, and just enjoy nature, smell nature, walk barefoot. I walk around barefoot all the time. My feet are always filthy. She's barefoot right I now. I am. I'm, yeah. I'm barefoot right now. Yeah. Um, but just get out in nature and minimize your stuff. That, that's a big thing for me. Awesome. What about you? Awesome. Yeah. Stress. I, well, I, well, I would agree with both of what you guys said. I think I do yoga. I've really switched. You and I were talking about this. Like I do my surge workouts, but then I do all, yoga three times a week. Um, I've really made a concerted effort to get out into nature. I have not done the minimal thing yet, and I think it's pretty cool. And I'm I'm really intrigued to try to do it. So we if we're gonna do and join the women in wellness um, group because we're gonna show Caitlin's van that mm. she's living out of, and it's not like a van down by the river. Like, it's not, well, <laughs> it can it's be. like a legit luxury van that she and her husband are living out of. So to simplify their life. So stay tuned for that. But. Um, my other thing is just not worrying about things that haven't happened. Oh, love that. So that has been like my big thing is like when I end up down a rabbit hole of like, but if this happens and this happens and this happens, like catching myself and go, but it, it's not happening. Yeah. So how about I just don't worry about it until yeah. it happens. Yeah. Yeah, so. I find anxiety comes up when we're looking into the future and depression shows up when we're looking into the past. So if we mm. can just be right here right now, it takes all of that away. Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. So anyway, so there is some suggestions. You guys had great comments on the Resetter page. Make sure you like the Women in Wellness group. Make sure you like our podcast on iTunes. We have, I don't know, 12, 12. 5th, 12 episodes 12 up. Episodes, yeah. um, so there's already some great stuff up, and we got a whole bunch more we're going to put up there and great discussions that we're having. So join us on this journey. It's awesome, and I hope that helps. Have an awesome day.